here's the formal definition okay so the uh, the exact definition of the limit Actually, the precise or the exact, we're going to say that uh, the limit uh, with x, y approaches approaching a and b of uh, f of x, y. We're going to say that this equals l if for every epsilon, remember that, greater than zero, there is a corresponding delta, a positive uh, delta, like so, such that And I don't know if I can squeeze it in one in these two in this space, but we're gonna say that uh, if here's the provision XY belongs to D and remember what we are supposed to have here, we're supposed to have here the absolute value of x minus a is less than delta, right? But in this case we have two variables, so we're going to say that the square root instead of the absolute value of x minus a squared plus y minus b squared less than delta, okay? So what happened then? then the absolute value of f minus l, this is exactly what we had in calculus 1, uh, is less than uh, epsilon. Here, so this is not a. I think I said 0 and I wrote a. Either, either way, but it's zero. Thank you, uh, Roberto, for correcting me. And uh, let me make a couple of notes here, uh, follow, following up on this definition. So let's print the screen. Okay, here's a here's an, an important note. Okay, we have two expression over there. Uh, we're going to say that <clears throat> the absolute value of f of, f of x minus a, f of x y minus l is the distance between um, the function and its limit. Going back to this little sketch, basically it's the distance between the outer, the zone here, and the limit, which is the point on the surface. Okay? The corresponding distance is the square root. Well, this, this looks like a distance formula, isn't it? The square root of x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is the distance. Okay. This is the distance between the point or between all points uh, x, y and, and the point a, b. 